place called Baja. Um, I like to encourage people to go, and I'm assuming, I mean, it's this double-edged sword. You know, we, 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 we love it, we want to share it, but we also don't want it to become too well-known. <laughs> Any last words for anybody? Yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Um, I, the only thing that I would say is anybody going to Baja, first of all, I would encourage it. Uh, but don't be in a hurry would be one of my tips. Uh, do your homework and uh, pick out some areas or places that you'd like to go and uh, research them a little bit. Um, sometimes it's tough to, to know where to go or what to do, but there's plenty of Baja experts to ask. I would say don't be afraid to ask uh, people. Uh, anybody that's traveled Baja can surely give plenty of recommendations. But uh, probably one of the one of the key things would be uh, not to cut yourself short on time because once you get down there, you're always going to wish you had more time or could spend more time down there. Well, there you go. That's words of wisdom from the desert lord, as so many like to call you, and I, I couldn't agree more. Um, the The whole concept of time is challenged when you cross that border. And uh, there's no question that, that if you allot yourself a week, you're going to wish you had two. And if you allot yourself a month, you're going to wish you had three. So do as much as you can to have as much time. And I would also, uh, when you say consult the experts, absolutely. But I would also encourage anybody that's traveling down there, whether you're a veteran or not, interact with the people. Uh, even if you just know a bare, the bare minimum in Spanish, most everybody, most every Mexican down there is, is more than willing to help give you advice and point you in the right direction. And, and don't be afraid to communicate with them or try to communicate with them. So I echo your statements there for sure. Um, well, Frank, again, thank you for the time. Um, we are, uh, we're out of time, and I don't want to take any more of your time. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. This has been Frank D'Angelo and Ryan Thomas on the Baja Sessions, where we chat with interesting people with interesting stories somehow connected to the majestic peninsula of Baja, California. Thanks again, Frank. Well, thank you, Ryan, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Don't forget to check out the BajaMap.com if you'd be interested in owning a leather-bound 60-inch canvas map of the Baja Peninsula. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Baja Sessions. We'll be back next week to chat with another Baja brother or sister. And until then, Viva Baja! This episode of the Answer is Yes Baja Sessions is brought to you by Baja Bound Insurance Services. Driving to Mexico? You can buy and print out your Mexican auto insurance policy online in minutes with their easy-to-use website. They also have great travel information to help you plan your trip south of the border. Visit BajaBound.com.